So today we are going to be talking about the controversial new feature that is being implemented into the software of Razer uh, keyboards called SnapTap. Um, and also just in the last few hours, um, Wooting actually caved in and implemented a feature as well called SOCD. Um, initially people were trying excuse me, initially people were trying to say that Rappy Snappy was the same thing. I tried it out earlier. I got about 200 kills in deathmatch. It is not the same thing at all. Um, there's still a lot of room for error. And some people were even saying that Wooting's in general and the actual ability to adjust your actuation point was cheating. That is just not true. Um, there is still a lot of room for human error within Wooting. Uh, Wooting's capabilities without the SOCD. So um, I'm going to kind of show you why, in my opinion, I think that this is game-breaking, at least for Counter-Strike. Um, I do not think this could be a problem in every game out there. Um, that's already been kind of shown on different videos across different channels. Uh, you can probably find those and or if you're watching this, you've probably watched them already. So what I'm going to show you is why I think this feature is busted. So if I go into Counter-Strike right now, I'm just sitting in a workshop map. Um, let me turn off. Let me turn off. Where's that? Let me turn shuffle off. Um, so if I just hold uh, either one of my movement keys, A or D. So if I'm just holding D and I tap A, like I'm spamming it. So I don't have anything up on the screen to show you guys that I am doing this. But I am holding A, spamming D, holding D, spamming A. And I am not shooting accurate, all right? Now I am moving quite a lot more, as you guys will see here in a second. But if I go and enable this feature, we go A, we go D, continue. Done, save. Let me let the game load for a second. Get the uh, latency out of here. All right, we're good. So now if I do the same thing, so I'm gonna start over here, hold A and spam D. I hope you guys can hear it through the mic. So it completely, and I can do this, I can just keep doing this. If I spam it enough, I am shooting accurate. I wasn't hitting any of these earlier. I was hitting none of those shots. So if you, if you hold it too much, um, it will actually kind of hinder you and send you back into the opposite direction. Because the way that this works is it remembers the last key. So if I hit D while I'm just holding this, I'm going to keep going in the direction. Whereas if you hold down normally on the Wu-Tang, if you hold down just both keys, you will eventually stop moving. And I don't know if anybody realized that. So initially, if, you, if I were to hold down both keys, which I am doing right now, you notice how it's sending me back in the opposite direction. And then if I let go of A, I keep walking. Now I'm going back this way. Initially, if you were holding both A and D at the same time, you'd just stop. You'd just sit like this. You'd just stop. So this is what I think is game breaking. The fact I can swing an angle and spam. So and shoot completely accurate. And I'm technically still moving, technically. While I be it like it's not a lot and it, and it might not be enough and it might still make you a sitting duck and it's gonna be hard for people in my opinion to get used to, this takes out all of the human implementation of the game. So it takes away any of the brain power, any of the cognitive ability that people have had to get for over, for me, for over 5,000 hours uh, on Counter-Strike, um, which is why to me, it personally still doesn't feel 
right. Like it feels weird. Um, I, I prefer just the normal way. And even when I was using the Rappy Snappy, it was just, it felt weird. Um, but I don't know. Let me see. Let's uh, see if I can hop into maybe a deathmatch server real quick. And hopefully it's not filled. And I can just kind of show you guys in there. Because if I can do that, um, it makes a big difference. And of course, it's just, it's gold. So, um, but it, regardless, um, in my opinion, I think that's just a little ridiculous. Especially right now. So, like, I bought a Wu-Ching because I do like setting the per actuation point. Um... But it's, it wasn't game breaking like this. It didn't. It doesn't give you drastically that much of an advantage. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's kind of like 360 hertz to versus 240. Like, is there something there? Maybe, yeah. But it's not drastic to the point where it's going to stop you from being able to compete at a high level, like at all. So. Like, I mean, this is just crazy. It's like just stutter. It's so stuttery. And I, I, I just, I don't, I don't agree with it personally. I, I per personally, I think if scripting um, and competitive Counter-Strike is against the rules, then I... I think scripts that are being ran on hardware or software are also against the rules. So, again, I'll turn it off. I'll do the same thing here with the Deagle. It's just not... Wait, whoa, what? Come on now. Bro. I was hitting headshots easier with the fucking shit on. Bro. This is crazy. How are these missing? Uh, I, I, if anything, that just kind of proves my fucking point. <laughs> like, those shots are missing because I, I'm probably moving a little bit while crouching or something, or I, I'm still at the end of my movement, and I'm not 100% counter strafing. I, I don't know, but that's kind of the point, is it eliminates all human error uh, and implementation, and it just allows the software to make it perfect. And I... I don't think that should be allowed because, again, first off, it's pay to win because you have to go and buy, seek out these keyboards, which are $200, you know, and then you actually get to play with it, and it's a script. I, I, and I don't think anybody's arguing that, like, scripting in general is cheating. Like, no, like, it's not technically cheating, I guess. Like, there's scripts for jump binds and stuff like that. Like, but those are in the rule set and allowed and within competitive Counter-Strike. And they are specifically mentioned. This is not. That's why you don't see people B-hopping everywhere and face it. Because having B-hop scripts is against the rules. So I just, to me, I feel like people are getting lost in the argument by people saying it's cheating. It's not that it's cheating. It's the fact that it's a script and scripts aren't allowed and 
scripts aren't detectable, right? So scripts aren't detectable, yet they are still bannable. So, I mean, it's, I feel like a lot of people's arguments are pretty, pretty goofy with this, but that's, that's what I think is broken with it, and feel free to let me know, but yeah.